The Crooked Humbucker. Was Eddie on to something or was it all just for show? Today we are gonna find out. Hey everybody, Aaron at Warmoth here, and today we are going to do a shootout between a humbucker in the angled position and a humbucker in the traditional straight position. See if there's any tone difference. And if you have ever watched this channel, even for one video's worth, you've picked up on the fact that I am a huge Van Halen fan. So this is going to be a fun little shootout for me. And in fact, back in the day uh, when, when uh, young Aaron was just learning how to play guitar, I eventually had three Kramers. I had a couple Kramer Strikers. One was Candy Apple Red, one was white, and I had a Kramer Pacer that was black and I painted Japanese letters on it. And they all had the angled humbucker in it. I didn't even want a guitar back then unless it had an angled humbucker in it. And I didn't know squat about tone or the subtle differences of anything. I just liked the look and I liked it because Eddie Van Halen had one. And another reason why this shootout is gonna be fun is because unlike other shootouts where I'm swapping necks or swapping bodies or different tone woods or whatever, I don't have to take anything apart to um, switch takes. All I have to do is undo a couple of screws, change the pickup position, and screw them right back down in so I can do the whole thing within you know just a minute. And unlike those other tests between woods or necks where people argue endlessly about whether it can possibly make any difference or not, I think we can all agree that a pickup's position along the length of the string definitely makes a difference in tone. So it's not a question in this shootout of whether it makes a tonal difference. It's whether it's big enough to be important or if it's all just for show. Now for this test, I will be using this body, which I have dubbed the Wormuth Soloist Body of Tonal Discovery. And uh, it was specifically built for this purpose. You can see it's been double routed for both uh, the standard humbucking position and the angled humbucking position, so I can switch back and forth easily. And the more observant of you will also have noticed that it is routed for both the standard neck position and the 24 fret reposition, which is a shootout we'll be doing in a future video. And I have the Warmoth uh, soloist body of tonal discovery attached to a Warmoth warhead neck. Um, and the pickup that we're going to be using is a Seymour Duncan JB uh, humbucker, not trimbucker, just a humbucker. And that's important. It will come in later in the video. But for now, let's get on with the test. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay, I've played them and now I've listened to them all back to back and I can certainly hear a difference. I notice it more on the low strings than the high strings, which is kind of what you'd expect because that's the part of the pickup that's moving further. On those low strings, when the pickup is in the angled position, I hear a little extra beef. I didn't hear as much difference on the high strings. And again, that makes sense because that's that part of the pickup is not moving much at all. And then uh, one other thing that I wanted to point out is uh, from everything that I've read and learned about Eddie, uh, the reason he slanted the pickup in the first place is because the pull pieces didn't match up with the strings. You know, this is a, a JB, um, just the standard space JB, which is kind of like the Gibson spacing. And you can see here, if I hold it up, you can see here that the, the pole pieces are having a hard, a hard time matching up with those strings. They're not quite wide enough. But I'm gonna take this guitar right now and, uh, and uh, switch this pickup real quick. And you'll get to see exactly how long uh, transpired in between each of the takes. It was very quick. Uh, just change it. and put a couple of screws in. Almost done. This is good video right here. And that's it. That's how long it transpired between each of those clips. It was really quick. No, I uh, didn't even need to retune the strings. Not that it would have mattered. But uh, let me hold this up and now you can see that the the, um, the screw is, uh, is lining up exactly with the low E and the slug is lining up perfectly with the high E. And I think that was from everything I've read, like I said, that was kind of Eddie's thinking when he slanted that humbucker was to get at least one of those pole peaches, pieces from each coil to, to uh, line up with the strings. But uh, in doing so, whether he intended it or not, I don't know, he definitely gave some girth to, those, to the low E and the low A. And, uh, you know, he's pretty much, his, his tone is a benchmark tone. So whatever he did, it definitely wasn't just for show. It, uh, it, it came through in his sound. And that is our angled humbucker versus straight humbucker shootout on our Warmoth soloist body of tonal discovery. I hope you found it useful. I certainly found it fun. And if you want to make sure not to miss any other shootouts that we do, like this uh, one that we're going to do on this body, make sure and subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. I don't usually beg for that, but it does help the big bosses here know that you find this information useful and that we should keep uh, you know, spending money to do these videos. And if you have any more questions about humbucker routes or any other pickup routes, make sure and check out our website or give our customer service reps a call. They are the experts when it comes to all this stuff. And until next time, keep on picking.